Hello, everybody. Moving on to the next game in the Sonic series, and I am playing the newly released HD port of Sonic CD. Um, if you haven't had a chance to get it yet, it is a big overhaul of the original version. It's got better looking graphics. I need to clean out my memory on the Xbox. Um, here's the menu. You can. Sh it has the option to choose between the U.S. and English soundtrack, U.S. and Japanese soundtrack. I'm going to stick with the Japanese. Which is which is because it's it's the better in my opinion. But I'm but seeing how the Japanese version's intro of you can do anything is kind of censored. I'm going to be showing the English intro, because I love it much better. So here's the English intro to Sonic CD. So welcome to Palm Tree Panic, which is the Green Hill Zone of this game, nothing special. It's basically just to get you in the feel for what Sonic CD is about. Now Sonic CD, it's considered by some to be the dark horse of the classic era. I personally don't think so because it's, it's different. And here are the reasons why. This game isn't about head from point A to point B, it's about exploration, and it depends on how you do it. There are two ways of 100%ing this game. You could either find the past signs, build up enough speed and head into the past, and destroy all the robot generators in each act, which can be time consuming, but it's usually the best, the more favorable of the two routes, because, well, there's some people that just know how to get to the past, and get the generators. I personally hate that method, so I'm going to be attempting this through getting the time stones, which it's kind of, they're the chaos emeralds in this game, so you don't get supersonic afterward. Now technically this game, like storyline wise, takes place before Sonic 2, so there is no supersonic yet. And you have to get to the special stage you do the same way you do in Sonic 1. Get 50 rings, and then when you get to the goal ring, there'll be a giant ring. You jump into it, boom, you're sent to the special stage. <clears throat> Easy enough, right? Well, sometimes it's not. Now, this game does have a... A save feature to it. I mean, not this, this game, but this port where if you quit during something, it'll immediately take you back there. Teleportation, yeah! Yada da 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 So, there will be some times here where I've screwed up the special stages of the act and I reset them. So welcome to the Sonic CD special stages. Full in 3D and everything. Object here is to destroy all the UFOs. 
within the time limit. Now, there are, there's some things to try to stop you. Like, if you land in water, your time is gonna deplenish. Like, I don't know, you'll lose like 10 game seconds for every two real world seconds, and it's 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 pretty ridiculous. So. It, it becomes a big middle finger in some of the later ones where there's not much landing. Most of the UFOs hover over water. Now, if you see the time are up there, if, you, if it gets to 20 seconds and there's one, a blue one that shows up in the middle of the, of the stage that gives you time back. And that's how you get the time stones. I find it the preferable method because it's a lot less frustrating and it's a lot less time consuming. But that's me. Some a lot of people prefer the the route of getting all the generators. I've only done it once and that was to get the achievement. It, it's it's annoying. You have to know the layout of every level in the present and in the past and whatnot. I don't like it. Now, like I said, this is the HD port that was re-released for the Xbox and PlayStation, and it fixed a lot of the issues that the original version had, which the original version did have some collision detection issues, and they were fixed greatly. Um, the, the control on the special stages was also improved, because the special stages, he was, he controlled terribly, like, he was so loosely controlled that it was almost impossible to run completely straight forward. And the fact that they fixed him to where the handling is a lot better. Plus they fixed the frame rate, which really helped things too. So they so they look better and they play better, which is a big plus. And I always really like Sonic CD, even before this port, and this port really makes me like it even more. So, if you haven't gotten this for the fact that you think it's just the same old Sonic CD, then no. This this is a muchly improved port. <laughs> and in case you're wondering, I turned on the Sonic 2 Spin Dash, because there's the option. Because in Sonic CD, he had a Spin Dash, but it was terrible. You had to wait for it to completely charge, and you couldn't get any like extra juice on it. But there's this option that they gave you to where you can turn on the Sonic 2 style Spin Dash, which is the Spin Dash we know to this day. And he also has this move called the, the Super Peel Out, which is this. It's basically the Spin Dash, but you hold up instead, and it was the preferable method. <clears throat> you can still roll up into a ball after it, and I think it's still the preferable one in this version. It's, it's fun. I mean... Pick and, pick and choose, especially in this version now that you have the real spin dash with you. So, 74 rings. I got two time stones. Well, I don't have two yet, but I will. And I assured you guys a 100% after my debacle in Sonic 1, so there is a 100% in this game, I promise. I made sure of it. Talk on the special stage 2, and why is Jupiter in the background? I don't know. Now, there's the whole soundtrack debate in this game, because in Japan and Europe, they got the soundtrack we're listening to now, but when this game was released in America, it got a completely different soundtrack. Now, the differences in the soundtracks is that the ones in the Japanese version are a bit more, you know, techno -y, like they have like a jumpy rave party feel to them, but the English soundtrack has a dark atmospheric tone to it, and it really does change the mood of the game. Like in this version, it makes it sound like a Sonic game. When you play with the English soundtrack, it makes it sound like you're playing some really dark, like Adventure 2-ish, Sonic 06-ish type dark atmosphere. And it's it's preference. I mean, the songs are fine on both sides. I have nothing against either soundtrack. It's it's just preference. I do enjoy the actual songs in the Japanese version more, but I grew up with this game with the English soundtrack, so I have no preference. I will, I didn't. I was going. I came up with the idea to play like 
Act 1 with the Jap song, and then Act 2 with the English song, with the US song. And I didn't come up with that idea until I was at Wacky Workbench. By that time it was too late, so... The whole thing is in the Japanese soundtrack. Work that sucker to death. Wow, you screwed that up nicely, Eggman. Yeah, if you get the invincibility up there and just run behind him, that's what's gonna happen. So there's Palm Tree Panic. Two time stones, he's done, no biggie. So there's first act of CD. Alright, let's go Eggman.